I'm Amanda and I'm from Ketchikan, Alaska. I have been teaching and practicing yoga for many years. So I came here for my 200 hour because I haven't had it yet, but I came here with a lot of knowledge and understanding of the philosophy of yoga, the postures or asanas, breath work. And so I kind of had low expectations for what I would learn but open to the process and whatever experience was needed for me at that time. I have to say that I've been pleasantly surprised. This is the last day of my 21 day yoga teacher training and it has been an amazing experience. I have been surprised with just how much I learned. I've learned about the healing arts of meditation, music, sound, vibration, um, the, the art of getting into a subconscious, not necessarily directly or pounding a teaching, but being, being living, breathing aspects of yoga. Um, to Eli, Molly, and the crew here really embodies what it means to have a community, to feel love, to be vulnerable, to allow yourself to shed your own layers in a safe place so that you can work on your personal healing, so you can clear your, your barriers, your obstacles. And that was another huge thing that I received from being here, is just healing and clearing layers of past traumas and things that have happened um, that it were holding me back or creating a frustration or anger, um, whether that was deep within or a physical manifestation in my body. But I feel, even after 21 days, clearer, more open, more available to provide a service. But really, I feel like the first week was tough because we went deep emotionally and I had to shed some of those layers, shed some of my ego, shed some things so that I could be a clear and open channel not only to receive the information and absorb it, but then now I get to share it with all of the people in my little town in Alaska. I have to say the learning process has been amazing. There's been a lot of repetition through song, through play, through joy, through um, conversations, actively doing things, practicing, reading, meditating, journaling, a really nice balance. Um, Molly and Eli both really get a sense of the energy and what you need and can make such an individual experience for you and what you're going through, meet you where you are maybe challenge you through some resistance, but really it's been a very gentle, amazing learning process that I realized how much that I've learned after I taught my final class. I've learned Kundalini, I've learned, which I knew nothing about before I came here, I've learned um, how to use different instruments, not coming from a background of music, using singing bowls, and other vibrations and sounds, how to incorporate different types of yoga into one, one practice. So using yin yoga, kundalini, hatha, vinyasa, combining it all and having it be just so fun and rich and fulfilling. Um, I've also learned a lot of Sanskrit and just really filled in some gaps of some things that I thought that I knew, but um, really got a broader, richer sense of some meanings, and I'm just really living it, putting it into place, waking up daily, having meditation and yoga to start your day is really a beautiful thing. And the food here is amazing! It's so amazing! I came from a place of um, really needing a lot of protein and wanting to build muscle strength and not sure how a vegan diet would go, but I just came in open-minded, dove right in, both feet, and I have to say that I have not had any cravings for any other food. It is gourmet, vegan, amazing food that makes you feel so 
good in your body. It makes you feel light and just really ease for movement and your digestion is just really, really great. So I'm definitely going to carry some of the the food recipes and the things that I've eaten here into my life at home. People here are awesome. The space is amazing. To be in nature, to practice yoga, to teach in yoga, in in nature outside is an incredible gift and it is celebrated here and there's a reverence about it that just brings this deep connection to the earth, this earth that we walk on every single day. But you just feel deeply connected and a higher spiritual vibration within yourself knowing that there's so much more that's bigger than you and you get to share in that and feel that and really embody this union which is yoga with your community around you and universally it's awesome i highly recommend it to anyone who is willing to be open to be vulnerable, to the learning process, to deepening your faith and spirituality, and to really looking within and learning some of the healing arts of meditation for yourself.